Hey there, son of Gemini. This is Kim with a reading for you today. Hope you're doing really good. Thank you for joining me. We're, um, I'm actually, I'm feeling like we just need to pull some cards first instead of a format. I'm feeling, yeah, I'm feeling like we just need to pull some cards. So I open up to, oh, well, I work with Angel. That, that's who I work with. Um, but I'm also open to your spirit team, your spirit guides here also to give us messages for you. Um, but yeah, so let's see, let's see what we have coming in. Beautiful angels, tell me what messages you have for Gemini. There's something about this being a confirmation read as to what is to come. A confirmation read on what is to come for you. <clears throat> King of Pentacles, strength. That warthog is in this picture too. In both. This King of Pentacle is a is sitting good, happy, especially financially. Usually, this is somebody who is a committed person. It, it, it's sometimes the like the husband, <clears throat> uh, the masculine energy here of of head of household or somebody that really wants to commit to you. Strength, if that's what you're looking for. Of course, the decision is yours. Two of Pentacle. The strength here, <clears throat> I feel like when you have this choice or option come to you, you're going to have no doubts that it is exactly what you are meant for, who you're meant for, who you're meant to share things with. Five of Cups. We have some things from the past that maybe we're distracting ourselves from thinking about. Um, but those are emotions that we are dealing with. Disappointments from the past. Okay. So there's change. There's harmonious change coming in. And you'll have no doubt when this energy comes in that it's like um, meant for you. You could be taking on the role of the King of Pentacles. Seven of Swords. This is an interesting Seven of Swords, though. Um, <clears throat> seems like it's more focused on a strategy. It could be associated with the Five of Cups uh, of letting go of when we were treated wrongly in the past by somebody that said that they were to commit or wanted to build or grow and then something didn't didn't pan out or something there was a disappointment in that so we're still like <clears throat> heavily thinking about this i'll get i'll get more information on that heavily thinking strategizing wow with this choice comes the tower. This choice, decision, this change is big. But you're ready for it because you've gone inside for cups. <clears throat> and you're really tired of, look at this, look, look at how this person feels. First, it's in the form of distraction and not wanting to really think about these emotions. And then it's like, oh, okay. Then, So it, it might be like a process that we do of, um, uh, I'm going to have a beer or two to not think about this thing that didn't work out or didn't pan out. And then by the end of the night, 
now all of a sudden that's made it uh, almost worse in a way because then you've thought now you're thinking heavily about the things that you tried to forget about right it doesn't have to be drinking but it could be something like that where there's a process of i'm doing this to get my mind off of how i was betrayed in the past lied to and then i end up thinking <clears throat> Excuse me, sorry. So there's some boredom or discontentment with what it is that you've had to deal with that you're not you're not um, good with anymore. Like wanting to change your environment, wanting to change the people that you're around, that you surround yourself with. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. The people that you surround yourself with, and then the Three of Cups is exactly that. And the Ace of Cups is on the bottom. So this is a new loving opportunity. I feel like you won't have a doubt in your mind about it. You will be celebrating, having fun. This Ace of Cups is absolutely like overrunneth, right? There's many different opportunities this is somebody that you will uh, have a really good time with. Let's let's get another tarot deck out so that I can see a little bit more about into this Seven of Swords, Five of Cups energy. <clears throat> King of Pentacles showing up again. Okay, I will, I will list off the signs that you have here on the board. Doesn't mean that that is exactly who is going to be showing up into your life, though. So just keep that in mind. Um, if you're like me, you have almost every sign in your birth chart. So <clears throat> I have Scorpio, Capricorn, Leo, Taurus, Aquarius, Scorpio, Cancer, Cancer, and another Cancer Scorpio Pisces. <clears throat> All right, now give me some messages here about Five of Cups, Seven of Swords. The Star. You really don't see this, do you? There's something that you really don't see because you've been trying to distract yourself from the past. Or, in this case, what is appearing to you in the present, too, that we're not really happy with. So you're not, not seeing that the stars are um, lining up here for you. This, here, wait. Oh, I'm give it a little bit. That the stars are lining up for you. That that there is much healing and there is something really faded to occur after this, some sort of disappointment, after a setback, after you've been through some mm, karmic BS, there's the star. There's the star. Uh, for some of you all, this is about a rise to acclaim, fame, being seen, standing out, you know, the st like the star, standing out, <clears throat> realizing you're the star in this show, and that you're meant to overcome these things, overcome the past hurt. Okay, now the Four of Cups, please. I'm picking up Judgment Energy with this Four of Cups also. So I'm picking up a new path to be shown to you. You'll become enlightened to it. 
the chariot is it, this is a person who's very aware of where they want to go and then they're going there another thing it's like a layer of this is yes these are these energies and then these are the things that you don't see that are beautiful that are going to make you feel feel and know that you're very victorious victorious balance self-awareness travel for some actual travel you're going through massive changes right now too within yourself with this two of pentacle the tower is saying there's a back and forth of oh wow yeah massive changes major changes could feel like everything's coming apart and it might be because something is being dismantled within you so it can be put back together different better <clears throat> king of pentacles really wants to come out <laughs> really 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 wants to come out twice Six of Swords reverse the Empress in the reverse. Okay, so this energy here, this person, whoever this is that comes in, they want to commit to you. They want to see you shine and pull out of isolation. They would like it if you would listen to your intuition and not, not let some situation from the past hold you back any longer seeing that this this energy sees in you <clears throat> and this could be you like i mean really coming into a lot of wealth and building something business owner banking ceo some kind of big energy that wants to uh see that empress in you not be held back okay they would like to help you move on travel movement help you move on and see you happy as you follow passions this is you also like seeing yourself happy and following your passion passions big time change knight of swords i don't know why i'm <clears throat> excuse me i don't know why i'm like focused so much on this this being a, another person, but it really is coming across to me like that. Like there's a, a season day when it comes to an opportunity with you, like seeing like a person on the outside, <clears throat> seeing somebody bored, dissatisfied, and ultimately that is being held back from their true creative potential, the empress in you, held back in the past in a way. And they're wanting to come in quick, strong, Carpe diem is what they think when they look at you. I want to seize the day. This is the person you are met or you will meet um, as you come out of hermit mode, coming out of isolation. They're on your path for a reason. This card shows up in my love readings for people whenever I'm talking about another wise soul who is on that same path wants to be on that path with you right now i could be talking about business partnerships too because this right here is really uh, wealthy <laughs> really wealthy really stable really grounded really mature energy and they work a lot work a lot you have to watch out for working too much without paying attention to your health there needs to be more rest, more rest, more healing. Mm. Could be healing from a past heartbreak uh, or breakup, two of cups in the reverse. 
And so we could look at this Knight of Cups as being the offer that's coming in, or if there is somebody that did that you did have experience, like a break or a break in a partnership with them, you know, kind of coming coming in with an apology in a sense, and you saying, "Look, I don't even want to think about this anymore." <laughs> done, done. That's what I get. Done, done. Hierophant in the reverse. And the lovers in reverse. Shit. You're a dun-dun with this energy. And justice, which could mean marriage and relationships. The Hierophant in the reverse. The lovers in reverse. The justice in the reverse. And the ten of pentacle in the reverse. Whatever went on with this two of cups in the reverse. It went on too long. You don't have time for that anymore. Holy. Let's pull some... <laughs> Let's pull some uh, 108. Jeez, I don't even want to get into that. I really don't. I don't. And I feel I feel like that's your energy with it too. I don't want to get it. So you're, it is it is going to be tough to get back onto the road and have strength or confidence. But I feel like without a doubt, when you meet this other energy, there's a strength, there's a determination, and a groundedness that you're really going to be attracted to. You just have this thing that you're um, ending. And some of you all could have an ending without a physical, actual separation. Yeah, and because that, that stuff is a process, right? So, I don't know. Work. Keep your focus. Keep your focus, especially on your work at this time. The beehive, because your diligence, your persistence, your stamina is going to pay off. This is about your harvest, continual effort. And I understand you're about to get rid of a lot of baggage. <laughs> This is prepared to go to the next phase, the long journey. It's what you're releasing. I'm going to leave it in the past. Yeah, because it's time. Wow, 8-8 eight, eight means wealth. It is time, guys. I have power and I have strength and forceful and determined on the bottom. Self-improvement exercise. It is time to pay attention, one, to your health and your healing heart. It is time for you to pack your bags and move on from this. It's going to be time for you to celebrate. And you are <sighs> coming into a new loving situation. Whether that be in business, whether that is strongly giving romance, family, uh, the things that didn't work out in the past, that's the past. That's what it is. That's the vibe I'm getting. Let's pull something from the White Light Oracle. What an interesting reading. Wow. Wow. It's time. 8-8. Eight, eight. It's time. 8-8-8. Eight, eight, eight. It's time for some abundance. Abundance of joy. <sighs> abundance of breath. It's time for abundance in all forms to come in. Yes, it is. I have bath coal. From the white light oracle is this one. Oh, by the way i have private readings i want to mention that i do have those available with three different prices ranging from 22 dollars to 60 dollars and it, whichever one you want they're recorded readings for you based on time and i send it to you well the pricing is on time all right that's in the description box <laughs> i didn't even finish what i was saying i'm trying to look up this bath coal All right, eschew complicated explanations as you seek simplicity of the deepest truth of your heart. Gently but firmly cast aside that which does not resonate from being true from your heart. Focus upon and speak from a higher spiritual perspective. All prayers are answered at the perfect time and in the perfect way. You have a powerful voice which can foster healing and wisdom on our planet. <clears throat> an angel known as the divine oracle the daughter of the divine voice the pure true sound of spirit hmm. it means that um you are always healing here and bringing about fulfillment of your soul path whatever this is is going to require a leap of faith for you to move on and heal from hmm 
Mm. There may be a voice in your heart that needs to be heard or uh, the voice that you feel kind of like inner guidance guiding you. So practice your power of discernment. And I was getting that with the, with the seven of swords. I don't know why I didn't say it, but I picked, I thought, I thought that there could be a disappointment from the past where we're trying to heavily analyze why something happened, but that you walk away with more discernment. And so that's why, um, you should feel you should have, if anything know that you've grown and, and become stronger from something. Okay. <clears throat> power, the bodybuilder. Strength, power. Strength, strength. Okay. Six, seven, eight, eight. Something is lined up for you. Another seven. Astral, uh, and seven, seven, seven. Seven, seven, seven. Ascension number seven. The astral plane, your pineal gland is fully open. Your third eye is rocking right now. Angel numbers, sequences of numbers that carry divine guidance. <clears throat> that would be seven, 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 and eight, eight for you all so far. Or eight, 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 actually. Psychic detective, postcognition, psychometry, telepathy, and dowsing. This is when you're one of those people that can pick up on historic events or things that happened in the past. Maybe you can hold an object and be like, oh, I know where this, I know where, what happened to this. I know where this came from. I know just picking up information from things. Um, you're the detective when it comes to the psychic realm. Star attunements for high spiritual healing, activation, ascension, and life missions. <clears throat> I need some honey. I need to have drink a honey honey drink tonight. Ascension number nine, Buddha plane spirit determines everything and chakra healer clearing and balancing. And then another eight. So four eights. Life path number eight, the financier, ruling planet, Saturn, karma and time restraint. But we are having some kind of achievement around that is what I would say. Seventeen, I am independent. The quality of work you produce when you're going at it alone is almost unbelievable. You are as independent as you are ambitious and capable of performing with every step of the way. Stay focused. I'm independent. 1010, I am patient. Keep your thoughts positive as everything is working out for your highest good. Your angels are working behind the scenes to help you. I am patient. 1010. And then 28, in an effort to accomplish great things, you recognize the value of working with others. You make a capable and compassionate leader who can bring people together towards achieving achievements, achieving something. 28, I am a leader. This is what I've got for you, Gemini. I'm sending you love and light. Please hit the like button if you haven't already and subscribe and come back. Bye.